What's up adventure travellers? Yes, finally made it to Perth. Around 5,700 k's from one side of Australia to the other. It's been an amazing three weeks and now I'm in Perth for about a week. I'm going to be seeing some of the sights and sounds and hoping to bring some of those to you. The poor old bike is pretty dirty and dusty and it's time to give her a good clean. So first job of the day is get the washing bucket out and get this bike ship shape again. So first issue of the day, we've got the number plate here and it's breaking off. So no number plate means big problems when traveling in foreign countries. So hopefully davo has got some, some nuts and bolts. Yes, it's hot here in Perth, so no shirt required. And uh, yeah, see that? Let's see if we can fix it. And here we have it ladies and gentlemen, to the ordinary observer, just a motorcycle. But to those in the know, this beautiful thing, look how clean it is. The oil is new, two liters, brand new oil. The air filter is clean, not over oiled this time. Spark plugs have been pulled out and checked and cleaned the whole bike from top to bottom it's a thing of beauty it's a full day's work and my personal favorite the newly attached broken number plate she's all ready to go to the mechanics for new tires and a final look over and then into the box what's up adventure travelers it's a beautiful monday morning in perth and i'm off to get some new tires so we'll stop and put some gas in and then drop it off at the mechanic and then we're good to go in a couple of days she'll be going into the crate and i have to crate that myself so hopefully that's not going to be too much of a mission and um, and then I just have to pick up the carne once I've got the carne I can book the flights to Vietnam and we're all go for Vietnam bring it on all right adventure travelers the new boots are on the bike there we go, up close and personal. Probably a bit more knobbly than I need, but anyway, it's great to have new rubber on the bike. Here's the rear tire, looking good. Should see me through most conditions. Unfortunately, they couldn't sort the problem with the spotlights, so I'm off to another bike shop now. What's up, adventure travelers? We're here in WA at Leighton Beach. My first time at a Western Australian beach, and so we're going to go check out the water. Davo's already in, and I've got to say that David's cheating a bit because he's he's not wearing his budgie he's not wearing his budgie smugglers. Whereas I'm not sure if you see can see that. I'm, I'm wearing, oops, I better take my sunglasses off. The water's pretty clear. It's pretty fresh. It's not hot. It's about, t it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. But um, as you can see, it's a very long 
Beach. That's Fremantle Port down there. Not sure if you can see the, the cranes that unload the container ships. But here we go. Let's get it. All right. Let's get in the water. Ah, ah, it's beautiful. Nice and fresh. This is my good mate Dave. He's putting me up for the weekend. Dave's not wearing his budgie smugglers. I'm very disappointed. I thought he was a true. I thought he was a true Australian. But <laughs> they don't come more dinky die than Dave. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Leighton Beach. Just had a fantastic morning down here. Just do a one more walk around. Here's the dunes. Pretty busy down here this morning. Until next time. Here we are at the amazing Scarborough Beach with Colin and Mitzi, my fantastic hosts for the next few days. Look at that view. Say hello Colin. <laughs> Very good. Say hi Mitzi. Hi. Uh, there you go. How is that for a beach? Wow. Beautiful. Alrighty, here we are at Malalu Beach. Man, who needs Hawaii when you have Western Australia? Yep. She's pretty awesome. There's Cole going into the water. Malalu Beach, Western Australia. So one thing we do as adventure travellers and adventure motorcyclists is quit our jobs and head off into the yonder to get away from rush hour traffic. But sometimes you just find yourself on the motorway, on the way to work with every single other person in North Perth. But it's all good. On the way to the uh, uh, freight company to put the bike in the box off to Indonesia while I scoot off to Vietnam on a rental bike. Very exciting! So, got to get up first thing in the morning and get the bike in the crate and uh, then figure out how to get to Vietnam. Stay tuned to see how I do this. Shouldn't be that hard really, buy a plane ticket, right? See you soon. There are some interesting bits on riding and riding through the town and riding through the city. This tunnel is one of them. It's pretty cool. I might be going under the Swan River actually. Some lunatics. Going as fast as they possibly can. I'm doing the speed limit. We're really on the outskirts of town, which is what you'd expect for a shipping place. But uh, how the hell I'm going to get back into town? Oops, I think my bike's running out of fuel. Perfect timing. The bike's supposed to be empty of fuel when you put it in the container, so I've got a little bit of reserve in case I conk out. Oops, we're going to conk out. And the bike ran out of fuel. How about that? We'll just switch it over to reserve. Ok, 
Okay. Here we are. XLI. Here we go. XLI. Right, one thing about motorcycle tra traveling is you've got to be handy and you've got to be DIY. Got to the freight place and they've given me the crate and said you're on your own. So here it is, here's the crate, it's flat back down, there's the bike and I've got to assemble it, put it all together. Let's go. Look at that behind me. They say beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and I say that that's a beautiful thing. It's taken me a couple of hours, including a phone call to uh, my mate Pippi, who's up on the Sunshine Coast. Shout out, Pippi! Good to hear from you. And uh, yeah, I haven't had any breakfast, haven't had any water, so time to refresh. Just one last look at my handiwork it may look like a box to you but it looks like adventure travel to me see you soon i'm in the square that sits in between the art gallery the museum and the state library and it's a mixture of old and new buildings we've got the beautiful old brick buildings over there with a cafe out in front of it Coming up is the more modern state library. Which is a pretty contemporary looking building. And that thing over there is the Museum of WA. Beautiful trees. And a great place to hang out. So if you're into art and museums, this is a place to be when you're in Perth. Check it out. There's plenty of nice trees in the CBD of Perth, scattered amongst the buildings. Just walking around some random streets in town, checking out the local shops and stuff like that. Lots of nice greenery as I mentioned before and uh, yeah I think this might be the Hospo district I can see some nightclubs and lots of eating places it takes a bit of getting used to walking around with a camera in public and uh, people see you and give you funny looks but that's all right you get used to it I'm sure in a month or two I'll get a lot better at it here we are, just more pubs. Good old Irish pub. <sighs> Might be time to stop for a beer carrying this bloody bag and helmet around. What do you reckon? Just another look at the tree lined streets in central Perth. Right, that little uh, walk around the streets of Perth. It's quite interesting. But uh, it's about 3 2 in the afternoon. It's pretty hot to be walking around in jeans and carrying the helmet and bloody bag and all that. So I decided to stop, have a cleansing ale, and carry on tomorrow. Cheers.
Great, well done. Not a bad drop. I'm here with Col on the rooftop bar of the, uh, the Art Gallery of Western Australia. He's kindly showing me around. There he is in the background, handsome fella that he is. Now I'm going to flip the camera around and check this view out. What a cityscape this is. Beautiful. Unbelievable. I don't know how many rooftop bars there are in Perth, but this has got to be one of the best of them. Fantastic views, great space. And it wasn't really used for anything until Colt turned up, so well done, Colt. So get yourself up here on a Friday or Saturday if you're in Perth. Check it out. We're here in uh, Rain Square, I think it is, and just having a look around. Pretty impressive CBD they've got here in Perth. Beautiful old buildings. Here's the square. Some green artwork down the end there. And the inevitable shops. So there you go. There's some pretty cool artwork of what looks like an Aboriginal warrior or hunter. Um, the start of what looks like a big, what's going to be a big inner city skyscraper amongst all the other impressive buildings. I think this place is called Yagan Square. We're here in Kings Park on the edge of the CBD in Perth. It's a massive thousand acre, thousand acre, yep, yeah. <laughs> I'll get that right. Thousand acre park on the water next to the CBD and it's pretty amazing. There's Andy, say hi Andy! <laughs> and behind us is a 750 year old tree. See if we can get some of that in. That's been that's been transported over 3,000 kilometres from northern Western Australia. Here's another look at the, the seaside. A lot of boats out today. It's pretty cool. We're here at another lookout point in Kings Park. That's the CBD obviously, and there's the Swan River, amazing view. Potentially one of the most beautiful seaside cities in the world. Here we are on a Sunday afternoon just having a few beers at the uh, local watering hole. Well not local, uh, it's in the, in the CBD. And uh, yeah, a bit of live music going on. So check this out. Waterside pub. There is where all the lucky people who work and all those flash. Look at that. All those flash office buildings. Those are some pretty cool looking apartments there. And here's our pub. Lovely little pub. So yeah, not a bad place to be on a Sunday afternoon. With the uh, water in behind. Look at that. Not bad. Beautiful Perth. And that, as they say, is a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed the five and a half thousand kilometre ride through Australia. That's over 10% of the total distance, I think, in just one country.
Next stop is Vietnam, where I'm going to be hiring a Honda 150. I'm a little bit nervous about that, not just because it's Vietnam and there's 100 million people there, but also I'm not 100% sure if all my gear is going to fit on the back like it has on my 650. So tune in and see what happens. Thanks everyone for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it the big thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and ring the bell. If you want to support the channel, please share it with anyone that you think might be interested. And as always, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. As you may know, I'm raising some money for the intellectually disabled community in New Zealand. What I haven't told you though, is that I've set myself a goal of $300,000, which is approximately $10 per every mile ridden across the world. So far I've raised almost $10,000. So if you're enjoying these videos, please consider donating to the IHC. More information can be found at twowheelstoeverywhere.com, ihc.org.nz, and the donations can be given at my Give a Little page. Money goes directly to the IHC, and all the links are in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, ride safe, and see you on the road.